Hello, this is Noseman from the Maxon training team and in today's quick tip I'm going to show you how you can control a light's position by looking through it as if it was a camera. Usually when we want to light a scene we will create a light, start moving it around or even sometimes we can right click and add a target tag, make it aim at a specific object in our scene and then we can go to our four views and move it around and you will see that the viewport changes uh, just make sure that uh, you have your camera locked and then set to the actual camera you're viewing from this redshift camera and now i can move this around and change its position and all the other attributes but there is another way you can do it which i find it's uh, very intuitive in very specific cases especially if you have massive scenes forests and landscapes and stuff like that so let's go back to our perspective and let's remove this light and start again. Create a light and what you need to do is go to the cameras menu and use camera and select selected object as camera. Now we're viewing the world through the light and I can use the usual navigation shortcuts. I can uh, pan or dolly or revolve around our object and at the same time i'm getting my feedback over here i can press h to frame everything and this way you can place your light by looking at the scene from the light's point of view just like in real life when you're placing a light you're moving it around physically with your hands so your point of view is that light just make sure that your intensities and all that are correct and that your light has the right dimensions and so forth. So this is the alternative way of placing lights. At any given moment you can make a copy of that and then move to another side because now again we're moving the light by navigating over here. Fantastic. Again you can play with uh, the various settings and uh, don't forget before you are done to go back here and use the camera you want. So currently it's the redshift area light and we need to switch back to the camera and now if I navigate my camera navigates properly. If you enjoy our quick tips please like, comment, subscribe and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip.